Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of December the 11th through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have the Page of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Four of Cups reversed. Next, we have the Two of Cups in the upright. Followed then by the um, Eight of Wands upright. And lastly, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright position. So, <laughs> it looks like it's a lot about emotions and perhaps love and romance for you this week. The Page of Cups in the upright position. It is a core card. Could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Page of Cups. Well, pages usually deliver messages. They're messengers. So it could be that you are getting message a message from someone in particular. And it could be somebody who's very shy. It could definitely be representing somebody who has a crush on you. It could be uh, representing somebody who's just emotionally not the most mature person, but it's somebody who his heart is in the right place. I do like the energies of the Page of Cups. can represent the offerings of, you know, the beginnings of love, romance, and all those sweet things. can also represent sometimes younger people. can be somebody that's younger than yourself, but it could also represent an actual child in your life. For some of you, perhaps they're sort of making your week by being incredibly sweet. Can sometimes, for some of you, represent a heartfelt apology coming your way. Now you start off with the week with the Four of Cups in the upright or the reverse position. Upright, the Four of Cups can represent that emotional apathy, that disconnect. Now it's interesting because. When we're in the Four of Cups in the upright position, the universe is trying to offer us something. Maybe the Page of Cups is coming by to offer. We don't notice it. We don't pay attention to it because our minds or our, you know, hearts are on other things. And sometimes that can be very distracting. Sometimes this can pop up after, you know, a breakup or something like that when somebody shuts down their emotions. But this can just simply represent emotional apathy due to... I don't have time for that because I have to deal with business or finance or health or other things right now. But when the card is inverted, this is where I can point back to the Three of Cups in the upright position, very celebratory energy, and oftentimes can indicate that we go to a social event and boom, something happens, we see somebody there, we reunite with somebody and our heart just sort of opens up again. It brings out the emotions and we start to feel something. It definitely looks like that in your case because the next card is the Two of Cups in the upright position. Connecting or reconnecting with somebody who feels like they're almost an extension of ourselves. We're of one mind, one heart, it's being on the same page emotionally, mentally, spiritually with somebody else. This is known as the, you know, soulmate type of energy. <clears throat> So for some of you, you're meeting somebody and they're really sparking your interest on the emotional front. For others of you, this could be a reuniting with somebody, maybe after an apology is extended. It could be that you are re reuniting with them and it's just the sparks are flying all over the place. And moving on towards the weekend now, what do we have? Arrows of love find their mark, the eight of wands in the upright position. This indicates a lot of communication going back and forth. Oftentimes when we first, you know, the first sparks of, of infatuation, we are just, you know, constantly communicating back and forth, back and forth with text messages and always, um, communicate, just always wanting to communicate, sending texts, sending, uh, making phone calls to each other and that kind of stuff. For others of you, this could represent sudden travel, maybe jumping on a plane or a train or in your vehicle and going somewhere quickly. It could be for some of you to go and meet up with somebody. For others of you, this could indicate constant travel. Maybe the person that you're involved with lives a little bit of a distance from you and you're going back and forth. For others of you, this could be completely disconnected from the early part of the week and represent just lots of communication. Good news for those of you who are in business for yourself. You could be getting a lot of new contracts, that kind of stuff. Could be getting a lot of sales. Um, 
if you put your resume out there, perhaps you're getting a lot of uh, communication back for that. And the last card you have is the Ten of Pentacles in the upright position. Well, not too shabby of a reading here, uh, Gemini. It looks like it's going to be a pretty good week for you. Ten of Pentacles can represent um, full security and stability <clears throat> from and in the home. So now this can point to sometimes generational wealth. It can point to uh, inheritance. It can point to... Um, having maybe some of you, like I said, this is job or business related and you've got a whole bunch of new clients and therefore it's bringing in extra cash. For some of you, this could be a bonus coming your way that you didn't expect. Maybe it comes in the mail for something from the past or something like that. It could be someone else in the family has just, you know, landed a good job or got a promotion or a bonus or something like that and brought you up a level in terms of uh, stability and security. So really good news for those of you. Maybe some of you, you know, have been trying to struggle to pay mortgage or rent on your own and somebody moves in such as a roommate and is adding to, you know, the stability, the financial stability of the home and situation. So that's what I have for you. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you again next week. Take care. Much love. Bye-bye for now.